Hello friends, I welcome you in lecture number 19 on basic statistics. In this lecture, we will discuss this question which was asked in GTU summer 2020 exam. So first we understand what is this question about. The runs scored by two batsmen denoted by capital A and B in 10 matches are given in this uh, table. So here capital A this uh, runs are scored by batsman A and runs scored by batsman B are given in this row. We are asked to find out that which batsman is more consistent. So here we are given two data values. One data is for runs of batsman A and another one is runs by batsman B. And we have to find out that which batsman is more consistent. So as we know the batsman uh, which is having less variability in his scores will be more consistent. So here we are given two ungrouped data and we have to compare these two ungrouped data. We have to find out the amount of variation in both the data and uh, using that amount of variation we are able to compare those two datas. So for that we will use relative measure of dispersion which is very famous it is known as coefficient of variation. So we will find out coefficient of variation for both the datas and then uh, the data having less coefficient of variation will be considered as more consistent data or the batsman in which the amount of variation or coefficient of variation is less will be considered as more consistent as compared to another batsman. So we are going to discuss uh, uh, this question using this coefficient of variation formula. We know that coefficient of variation is given by standard deviation divided by mean times 100. So we have to find out mean and standard deviation for both the batsmen and then we will be able to find out coefficient of variation for both the batsmen. So first we uh, write down that the batsman having less amount of variation in scores is more consistent. We find coefficient of variation of runs scored by both batsmen. And here we have written formula for coefficient of variation. It is equal to standard deviation divided by mean times 100. So first we find this coefficient of variation for scores of batsman A. Then we will do the same thing for batsman B. Here number of data values are n equal to 10 because these uh, scores are given for 10 matches. So we will consider number of observations equal to 10. Now to find out mean, uh, we have to take sum of all these values. If we want to find out mean of scores by batsman A, then we will take sum of all these scores and we will divide them by total number of matches that is 10 here. So first uh, we try to find out mean of scores for batsman A. So by definition mean is x bar here we write in suffix we write capital A so this denotes that this is the mean of scores for batsman A so here I have written sum of scores all these scores are considered in summation here and we divide by total number of scores which are 10 so we obtain that arithmetic mean of scores for batsman A is 40 Similarly, we have to find out the variance for batsman A. So, if we recall the formula of variance, shortcut formula, then we know that shortcut formula for variance is sigma x square minus n times x bar square divided by n minus 1. And for batsman A, we will write in suffix, we write capital A. So, here these values are denoted by capital A. So we will require sum of squares of scores by batsman A. So first we have find out this quantity sigma x square. That means we have to square all these 
scores and then we have added them so that will be the sum of squares of scores by batsman a and that we find as 21974 and then we substitute in this formula we have find that mean is 40 so we substitute value of this sigma x square here then n is 10 mean is 40 and n equal to 10 therefore 10 minus 1 is 9 and using scientific calculator we find that standard deviation of scores by batsman a is 25.7639 so now we have obtained standard deviation and mean so we can find out coefficient of variation for scores of batsman a and that is equal to 64.4098 so coefficient of variation for scores of batsman a is 64.4098 now using this same method we will find out the coefficient of variation for scores by batsman B. So for that we first find the mean of scores by batsman B. So for that we uh, find out sum of scores by batsman B and we divide by total number of matches that is 10. So here we have taken sum of all these scores 37 plus 22 and so on up to 4 so we add all these scores and divide by total number of matches to obtain mean of scores of batsman b so we obtain that mean of scores of batsman b is 30 and uh, for variance we first find out sum of squares of scores by batsman b so here we have written sum of squares of scores by batsman b and we obtain that sigma x square for batsman b is 12078 so now we substitute all these quantities in this formula for variance by batsman b so this sigma x square is 12078 n is 10 mean for batsman b is 30 so we substituting all these values and using scientific calculator we find that variance of scores for batsman b is 342 and the standard deviation is square root of this quantity so that is 18.4932 after that we find out coefficient of variation for batsman b which is standard deviation divided by mean into 100 so we substitute values of standard deviation and mean and we find that coefficient of variation for batsman B is 61.6441 and coefficient of variation for batsman A is 64.4098 64.4098 this is coefficient of variation for scores of batsman A this is for batsman B so we can observe that coefficient of variation for batsman b is smaller than coefficient of variation for batsman a therefore the variability in scores of batsman b is less than the variability in scores of batsman a so therefore batsman b is more consistent than batsman a so in this way coefficient of variation is very helpful to compare two or more sets of data the data set having less coefficient of variation will be considered as more consistent or more homogeneous as compared to other data now one more thing we will notice here is uh, we have used the formula for sample variance here so for that we have made the assumption that the data given is for sample we assume that we are given two samples of scores by batsman A and batsman B. So we are using the formula for sample variance here. And then we find out sample standard deviation and we find out coefficient of variation. But if we consider this uh, data given as a population, then formula for coefficient of variation will be equal to population standard deviation 
डिवाइडेड बाय पॉपुलेशन मीन टाइम्स हंड्रेड सो वेन एवर इफ देर इज नो स्पेसिफिकेशन इन द क्वेश्चन दैट वेदर दिस डेटा इज फॉर ए सैम्पल और फॉर ए पॉपुलेशन देन वी कैन यूज आइदर द फॉर्मूला फॉर सैम्पल वेरियंस और वी कैन यूज द फॉर्मूला फॉर पॉपुलेशन वेरियंस बोथ विल बी कंसिडर्ड एज करेक्ट सो एंड वी नो दैट अदर फॉर्मूलाज आर सेम ओनली देर इज ए डिफरेंस इन द नोटेशन वी नो दैट एक्स बार इज गिवन बाय सिग्मा एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड पॉपुलेशन मीन इज ऑल्सो हैविंग सेम फॉर्मूला but there is a difference in the notation it is denoted by mu the only difference is in the variance for sample variance we take division by n minus 1 and for population variance we take division by total number of observation that is the only difference so if we consider population variance then Uh, we will obtain this type of coefficient of variation so i have calculated population variance is also and uh, uh, this is the population variance for batsman a and uh, using this formula i found that coefficient of variation for batsman a is 61.1044 similarly i have obtained the population variance for batsman b and i find that coefficient of variation for batsman b is 58 so if i use population variances then also i find that coefficient of variation for batsman b which is 58 and it is smaller than coefficient of variation for batsman a which is 61 so if we are using population variances then also we find that batsman b is more consistent as compared to batsman a but generally the data which are given are from a for a sample generally they are not giving the data for a population because for population we have large number of observations so whatever data is given that is considered generally as a data for a sample therefore i have used the formula for sample variance in this example but if you are doing the same problem using the formula for population variance then also uh, you will have no deduction of marks in your examination but if it is specified that you are given a sample then use the formula for sample variance and if you are given that data given is for a population then use the formula for population variance if nothing is specified then we suggest that we will use sample variance because generally the data given is always for a sample so this is all about this lecture in this lecture we have discussed that how to decide that given two data from given two data which data is more consistent so the data having less variability in its observations will be considered as more consistent and for that we are using this relative measure of dispersion known as coefficient of variation so this is all about this lecture i hope you like it thank you very